Ya dentro del estadio Robert F. Kennedy, al medio tiempo, Raúl Ignacio Díaz Arce fue exaltado al Salón de la Fama. Fue algo que realmente no esperaba, una satisfacción enorme porque por lo menos ser el primer salvadoreño que, que está inducido en un club como para que la gente siempre lo recuerde, yo creo que eh, es para mí un honor, un orgullo y ser salvadoreño y realmente seguir adelante ¿no? para, para que los futuros pues, hagan lo mismo. ¿no? Con esto el número 21 quedará para siempre en el Robert F. Kennedy. Indeed I do, I have Raul Diaz Arce, RDA, one, one third of the magic triangle for DC United, going into the Hall of Tradition tonight, and uh, tell me what, what it feels like to come back and be amongst all of these supporters who have been behind you and were behind you for so many years. Yeah, yeah, I feel great, I think that is something that I never expect, because I play only for three years for DC United, which I think for me was a wonderful year next to Marco, next to John Hodges, Ergo, Eddie Pop, so, and I think I appreciate that, I appreciate the fans to vote with me and, you know, try to induct it tonight and be in the world for the rest of my life. Yeah. I know that a lot of people would like to know what you're up to these days. What are you up to? Uh, right now, I'm the director for the academy for Chicago Magic, so I will be in the field as a coach for the 15, 16, 17, 18, so that is what I'm doing right now, and I, I expect one day being in that bench, you know? <laughs> Raul Diaz Arce going into the Hall of Tradition tonight, one of the best and most popular DC United players of all time. Raul, congratulations and thank you for coming on. Okay, thank you. All right, Dave, back to you. All right, so great to see him. You know, he's still so fit, like he could play tonight if they needed him. Uh, I've, I've brought him in a few times, Dave, with our under-20 uh, national team as an assistant coach, and he he is a great coach, and he will continue to hone his skills at all levels and, and, and eventually get to the level where he wants to be, be it the El Salvadorian uh, national team or somewhere in MLS.